Want to set up NeoBeam as a modern IDE like VS Code? Then you must use LSP Saga. It improves your NeoBeam built-in LSP experience with nice user interface plus user-friendly commands. Plus, it has a lot of features combined in a single plugin, otherwise you have to install multiple plugins for individual features. So let me show you some features why it is so great. First you need to install it just like any other plugin. Once you have installed, you will have access to the LSP Saga command. It also gives you these subcommands for the features. Let's say I want to rename this variable so I can run LSP Saga rename and it gives me a pop-up window to rename. I can just rename it to something like page and the variable name is renamed. In the documentation on the left side, you'll see modules and each module can have one or multiple features. So let me show you more features. Let's say I want to see the hover documentation. So I can just type LSP Saga hover doc. It is similar to VS Code where you hover over a variable and it gives you the documentation. I can even jump to this little window. I can hit Q to close this pop-up. You can see the definition with LSP Saga peak definition. And it also gives a pop-up of the definition of that variable or function. If you use LSP Saga go to definition, it will take you to the location of the definition. Let's say I want to see the type of this variable. I can run LSP Saga type definition, sorry, peak type definition. And this is that type interface. Again, I can hit Q to close the pop-up. Same way I can just use go to type definition and it takes me to that location. Then you can also jump to diagnostics very easily. So you can run jump, sorry, diagnostics jump next. It shows you the diagnostics issues and at the bottom, you'll also see the code action. If you hit control F, then it will show you the preview of code action. And if you hit control B, then it will take you to the previous code action. And same way, the diagnostic jump previous will work. You can also see the workspace diagnostics with show workspace diagnostics command. Then you have code actions similar to VS Code. You just need to run LSP Saga then code action. So for this line, we have this code actions. It also gives us the preview if available. And if you hit the action number key, for example, one, then it will apply that code action. Then you also have call hierarchies. So you can run LSP Saga incoming calls or LSP Saga outgoing calls. Then you also have a little light bulb feature. So if the current line has some code actions available, then you'll see a light bulb similar to VS Code. Then you have something called Finder. So LSP Saga Finder. So this is basically a one single command to find your code references and implementations. If your cursor is on the file path and if you hit O, then it will toggle the current fold. And if you are on the file location and if you hit O, then it will take you to that file location. And if you hit Ctrl K or Q, then it will close that pop-up. You can check the advanced configuration in the documentation. It also has a floating terminal. So LSP Saga term toggle. Honestly, I don't really use it, but you can if you want. It also gives you a breadcrumb at the top of the file. It is similar to modern IDs like VS Code, and it's also refreshed every time you change the cursor. If you hit LSP Saga outline, then it will give you a symbol hierarchy. You will also find them in VS Code. You can hit O to toggle the fold, but if you hit O on the symbol, then it will take you to that file location. You can also hit E. So that's pretty much about the features of LSP Saga. You need to go to the documentation if you want to customize it. And talking about customization, 
you can customize LSP Saga in the setup function. Honestly, I haven't done any kind of customization because the default is pretty good for me. But if you want, inside this table, you can add the configuration. If you want to see the available configuration, you can go to the source code. Then go to Lua LSP Saga. Then go to init.lua. And this is the default config and the structure is pretty simple. You have to use the module name as the key and then the table with configuration. You can use this as a base and configure it however you want. If you want to see explanation of each of the options, you need to go to that specific modules. Now let's talk about key maps. By default, there isn't any default key maps to open up any LSP Saga feature. You have to add them manually. Most of my key maps are added through which key. And some of them here are not added through which key. I'm just using the default key map function. And some of them I've added to the native key map .set function. You just need to run the commands. You can also set a key maps with a specific functions. For example, here we are loading the diagnostic module and then running the go to previous function with some options. If you want to see the functions, then you need to go to source code. For example, you want to see the functions inside the diagnostic module. So go to diagnostic, then go to init.lua. And here you'll see all the functions. For example, the go to previous function is here. Then you also have go to next go to position etc so that's it if the video has been helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i also have an awesome new beam plugin video series you can check that if you want and if you want to set cool live wallpapers like this on your linux desktop then you can check this video